Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK, and of course, to all my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much. Love that you've been part of the Ange fam and continue supporting my channel. Can't thank you enough for that and sending you lots of love, peace and happiness. So guys, Christmas is almost upon us. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my perfume Christmas wish list. I don't know about you, but I love this time of year. I love Christmas. As you can see in the background there, I've already started wrapping presents. I've got loads more to do. But speaking of presents, I have to say, if you still need them last minute gifts, check out Anna Louisa jewellery. Now, I know I've spoken about them so many times on my channel, but it's a brand that I absolutely adore. And I know that anyone would love to receive a piece from Anna Louisa for Christmas because the jewellery is top quality. It is tarnish free. It looks amazing for years. Like, it's just such top quality jewellery and there's something for everyone. The designs are so unique. They're so beautiful, dainty. This gorgeous necklace that I'm wearing now, I love this. It's so delicate and gorgeous and it just goes with everything. And I have these beautiful sort of little hoop earrings. They're kind of oval hoops. I love a hoop. Like you can just pair hoops with anything, can't you? And they just complete an outfit basically and at the moment Anna Louisa have got a great sale going on there's 35% off like it's the biggest sale of the year so you'd be mad not to check it out and the pieces come in these little pouches so convenient and in here I've actually got another pair of these hoops exactly the same but in silver like they're so lovely like I just cannot stress enough how much I love this brand so do check them out I will leave all their details in the description box save yourself some money bag a nice Christmas gift and make someone that you love smile so without further ado I'm going to stop nattering and just get into the perfumes now to be honest with you this year has not been like an amazing year for perfumes to me that's why you've not really seen me do loads of hauls this year because nothing has really kind of like got me sort of salivating and like really excited so there's a few perfumes that I do still want and that I'm hoping that Santa might bring me one or two of them if I'm lucky if I've been a good girl I don't know maybe I haven't but we'll see um <laughs> let me know in the comments by the way what are you wishing for perfume wise this Christmas have you got any that you are dying to get your little mitts on because I know I want to get my grubby little mitts on these ones that I'm going to tell you about so the first one this is the one that I think I want the most it is called Amore Cafe and it is by Mansara. Now, I love a Mansara. Mansara perfumes, like, I really love them for their performance. Like, to me, they are some of the best performers in the niche perfume category that's at a decent price. Like, these are affordable when it comes to niche, and you get a big old bottle. And I really think, for the most part, Mansara's, their performance is just out of this world it's top notch it's beast mode and you know me I love a good beast mode I love something that lasts a long time projects and mostly when I wear Mansara perfumes I do get compliments so a more cafe like let me read you the notes the notes will have you like your mouth watering if you like a gourmand that is because this sounds like a super gourmand now I've not smelt it but I've seen reviews and everybody seems to love this perfume so I definitely want to get my hands on it so the notes are coffee amaretto oh amaretto is one of my favorite drinks to have at Christmas like it's so warming so sweet cozy almondy yummy just yummy 
that's all I can say. So yeah, coffee amaretto, ice cream. Ice cream as a note, ice cream, vanilla, brown sugar, again, vanilla in the base and ambergris. I mean, what is not to love? Like, I want that perfume. I am getting that perfume no matter what. So if Santa doesn't bring it, I'm going to take myself and get it for myself. The next one I really want is, I think it's Altair, is that how you say it? By Parfums de Mali. It's a new one and it sounds lush and it has a lot of good reviews here on YouTube. It has cinnamon in it. It has cardamom. It's vanilla. It's a warm, spicy. It just sounds right up my alley. Again, I love the Parfum de Mali perfumes that I have. I find them to be good performers. They smell amazing. As you know, my favourite perfume of all time is Delina exclusive. They make that one. So I really want to take a leap of faith. I've not smelt Altair, but I want to just get it. I feel like it's a blind buy coming on. Unless, of course, one of my dear friends or family get it for me. Who knows? The next one that's on my wish list is Eilish number three. Now, I have the original Eilish and I adore that eilish number three in the red bottle i just love the bottle i like the color i'm attracted to it like a magpie i like anything shiny stand out you know glamorous i like the bottle so that's what attracted me first but then i saw the notes they're kind of like fresh spicy woodsy notes a bit different well quite a lot different from the original Eilish. So I want to see what else Billy can do with her perfumes, you know. I like the fact that she's moved really far away from the original one with this number three perfume. And yeah, I just want to try it. Again, I've not smelled it. I'm going to go and take a leap of faith and just blind buy it if I don't get it as a gift. The next one I have my beady eyes on is Vanilla Cake by Montau. Now, this one I have actually smelt and it is divine in my opinion. So I recently got Sweet Vanilla by Montau and I adore that. But I was thinking, imagine Sweet Vanilla layered with vanilla cake. Oh, wouldn't you just smell like literally so divine and so edible and like just out of this world everyone's going to want to just smell you they're going to want to cozy up to you and eat you maybe i don't know but the notes of vanilla cake sound lush let me read them to you so meringue milk madagascar vanilla caramel and almond that, again, is a gourmand lover's dream. And yeah, I've smelt it. It is gorgeous, but you have to like sweet gourmand fragrances because it is quite a heavy scent. It's quite a thick scent. It's very sickly sweet, but I like that. The sicklier, the sweeter, the better, in my opinion. But that's not everyone's cup of tea, is it? So, but yeah, I fancy that and I fancy mixing it. I think that one would be a good one to layer with a lot of different perfumes. And it has great performance. So yeah, firmly on my wish list. The next perfume that I really want is one that I had and I decluttered it, which... I don't know why I did that. Well, I do know why I did that. I'm talking about Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. Originally, I had the Eau de Toilette and then Chanel went and came out with an Eau de Parfum. And that was the issue with that perfume because it smells amazing. It was just the lasting power of it. And I had a massive, I think it was a 150 ml bottle and I'd use like a quarter of it because I do love the scent. But the lasting power was not that great, left a lot to be desired. So now they've come out with a perfume version. I want it. I want that back. I'm craving it. I'm not a citrus gal, okay? I don't love fresh 
citrusy perfumes then that's not really my jam however that is one citrus that i really like it's really mm, like up there when it comes to citruses so obviously it has the lemon in it but there's a pink pepper there's iris there's jasmine i think it's got amber in it somewhere it's musky it is juicy fresh mouth-watering clean uplifting it's vibrant it's such a bright scent and it just makes you feel happy you know one of them perfumes that puts you in a good mood it's one of them and aesthetically the bottle the colour of the juice we don't see a lot of green juice in perfumes and I like it I gravitate towards it so I want that scent again and that's definitely one that I think I will get in the new year so there you are guys we've come to the end of another video gosh doesn't time fly when you're having fun don't forget check out Anna Louisa's website grab yourself a bargain at 35% off the biggest sale of the year you won't regret it their pieces genuinely they are mwah, chef's kiss anyway let me know in the comments guys what perfumes do you really want this Christmas have you bought any for yourself or are you hoping that Santa's going to bring it down the chimney for you anyway if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would love it if you join the Ange fam until next time take care and I'll see you soon